Welcome to The Wildlife, a series from the National Trust taking you on a journey around our island's exceptional wild places. This week we're travelling to the lush wetlands and grasslands of Wiccan Fen. The National Trust's oldest nature reserve is also one of Europe's most important wetlands. It includes a unique area of undrained fen. Paralympian and broadcaster Adia Depitan travelled to Cambridgeshire to find out more about this historic landscape. I love it here. It's absolutely stunning. But there is a bit more to this place than just its beauty, isn't there? Absolutely. It's a really special place because it's one of only four tiny little fragments of undrained fen that's left. Tell me why an undrained fen is so important. It's got many benefits, the wildlife that it attracts, the unique species from flowers through to insects through to birds, but also that wet peaty soil has a wonderful extra benefit as carbon capture. Being a wetland, it relies on water and the summers are becoming drier, so we need to make sure that we can keep it as wet as possible. It takes an incredible 10 years to grow just a centimetre of peat, so it doesn't happen fast. It's really important that we look after it. That wet soil is locking in carbon and it's keeping it in the ground rather than being released into the atmosphere. So it's so good for the planet. Back in the early 2000s, we introduced Konik Polski, which are an Eastern European breed of agricultural horse and highland cattle, which we brought down from the Isle of Mull. We deliberately chose two species, horses and cattle, because they graze and use the land in slightly different ways. Almost like a patchwork quilt that's being stitched together with lots of different pieces. Horses create little lawns in amongst all of the rushes and reeds that are great for a certain range of insects and birds. We've also got things like the dung piles that the males create. These are great for a wide range of invertebrates, dung beetles being the obvious one. Seeing horses behave like horses do, interacting in their family groups, all of the bonds, the little subtleties and nuances of their behaviour and how they're shaping the landscape is incredibly fulfilling and I wouldn't swap this for the world. Visiting Wiccan Fen for your first time, how are you feeling being here? I love it. It's that feeling of freedom. I think when you're in a city you feel quite confined and enclosed and to me I just feel like I want to have my arms out open to take everything in. I feel so much better just being here. The other thing that I just really love about this place is the fact that it's accessible. This is the sort of place that I would have loved to have come to as a kid with my school. Since Victorian times, Wiccan Fen has attracted visitors eager to study this special habitat. Today, the site is a place for everyone to discover nature and learn about our environment. Many people feel that being outside in wildlife, feeling the wind on your face and hearing the, the nature around you brings enormous benefits for well-being. Here at Wiccan Fen, we're committed to providing opportunities for children and young people to develop that deeper connection with the nature reserve and the wildlife around them. The students that come here, they bring some life and joy every week that always puts a smile on everybody's face. Ajay, what about this place? It, it looks rather different to where we've been before. Yeah, it is. I mean, hundreds of years ago, it would have been the same, but this has been drained. And about the end of the 1990s, this was farmland. But what we're doing here is we're restoring the landscape, we're creating more Fenland. And so what we've done is we've pumped water onto the land here and that's what's attracted all these ducks to come. And is that the, the, the vision for the future? Is this what the fens are going to look like? That's right. Our plan is to create an area that spreads to Cambridge and is about the size of 100,000 football pitches. And our vision is to create a space that's far more valuable for wildlife. Jay, it's been the perfect day. You've sorted out the weather, <laughs> it's lovely, and this view 
I like what you've done with it here. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we looking out for right now? So we're looking out for a special bird called the Marsh Harrier. Mm -hmm. And there's not many of them in the UK, about 600 pairs. But 50 years ago, there was just one or two. Just one or two? Yeah, they were nearly extinct. There we are, just above that yes, tree. Yes, yeah, I can see them. How cool is that? To find out more about how you can help protect nature, visit nationaltrust.org.uk.